Hi everyone and welcome to the Tune Review. So um, just basically a, a video today just to go through Newcastle United's transfer options and where I think we need strengthening uh, and where I don't think we need strengthening coming towards the, uh, the second half of the season where it really, really counts. Um, certainly at the moment I think we've got, um, defence-wise I think we're all right. You know, as much as I've criticised Paul Dummett this year, um, I think left-back uh, is probably a position that we can probably look at improving next season, moving into the Premier League, fingers crossed that that is where we're going. Um, so I, I think if he moves his, uh, into the Premier League, I think Rafa will uh, look at bringing in a, a, a new left-back, somebody who's, who's very powerful going forward but can also defend. You know, we, we need somebody who can do both. Over the years... We've had maybe you know left backs that can they're really good going forward, not so good defensively, or good defensively uh, and not so good going forward. Certainly, Dummett would fit the role of probably decent defender going forward. Absolutely shite. Let's face it, he's he's not he's not. Uh, I think he's put two decent crosses in this season from what I've seen. But uh, never mind. But I think the the back four. I think he he, he trusts his centre backs. I think Kieran Clark. Uh, I've said before in other videos, I think he's been an absolute steal, uh, a real find for us this year, uh, along with Lascelles, who he is prone to making the odd mistake, Lascelles, but I think under Rafa's guidance, I think he's, he's really settling into the role, and certainly with being captain as well, he's got that added responsibility, and I think he's handled both of those really well. Midfield is the is the area I think we need to improve on. We need to bring in some creativity because if Shelby's missing, we have nobody. And that's a big concern. Matt Ritchie's been, well, shall we say, off the boil a little bit the last few games. Uh, certainly he'll come back. I, I know for a fact he will. He's, he's too good of a player not to. You know, everybody... I think really in a, in a season that lasts as long as the championship season does, every player is going to have an in and out uh, time. You know, form is going to dip, form is going to improve, confidence will go, confidence will come back. And I think, that, you know, given the course of a 46-game league season plus all the cups, you're bound to have a dip in form somewhere along the line. So I'm not worried about Matt Ritchie at all. I think he will. his work rate's never been in question as well. So I think his form will come back. Middle of the park for me is where we, we possibly need to look at. Uh, Diame, for me, he looked okay when he came on. I, I said that in my uh, my Forest review. You know, I think he did well when he came on in the middle. I don't think he's a number 10. Uh, you know, it's it's finding a position for him. But when Shelby comes back, you know, him and Hayden seem to be the two that Rafa will, will probably rely on the most. So do we need another centre midfielder maybe to sit in there who can pick a pass out? Possibly. Left-hand side maybe is somewhere we need to look at as well. I think Atsu, uh, obviously he's away at the African Nations Cup at the minute, so he's not there. But Gufran's not really uh, an attacking explosive left winger. You know, if we look at Newcastle United's left wingers in the past, we've had the likes of Janela and uh, Lauren Robert. Absolute class players who aren't frightened to take anybody on or certainly have a potted goal. Gufran has done very well this season. I'm not taking anything away from Gufran at all. I think he's been a... A real, real gem this season, and his work rate coming back is second to none. He puts a shift in every single game, and nobody can criticise him of doing anything but that. But my fear is that maybe we just need a bit more, you know, a bit more oomph going forward. Uh, we, we've lacked that in recent games, and I think crossing into the box for the for the men in the, like the strikers is really really important going into the second half of this season we need to put quality balls in the box if you look at the last few games our crossing has been pretty disastrous you know we, we, we get in the decent positions but the crossing sometimes we can't beat the first man it hits the second man and we struggle from then on and it's a real real pain in the ass for me you know when we see us getting into real positions corner kicks as well sometimes Granted, they've been a lot better this season than they have in previous seasons. Uh, we've actually scored from a couple of corners this season, which is a massive difference to what we've experienced as fans in the past. Um, but, you know, this number 10 role is, is where we really need to look at, I think. And, you know, we've tried Diame, we've tried Perez. Uh, you know, we haven't really tried maybe Gale in that position and, and Mitrovic in front. Um, but the number 10 role has to be someone that, that is going to, you know, Give us a spark. Make something happen. You know, we, we, we haven't got that at the minute. Perez can't do it. Diame for me, he does it the odd time, but not enough. So who can we bring in in that position that will, you know, improve us? Because that's what we need to bring in in January. Not players who are going to do the same thing. We need players who are going to improve the team. 
And that's where the important thing is for Rafa. He's got to look at these players he's thinking about bringing in and say, right, are they going to improve the team? He's, uh, there's been reports on Twitter today that we're after a couple of uh, young guys to come up through the academy. But, you know, that, that's not, for me, where we need to be looking now. We need to be looking at players who are going to give us that quality and drive and creativity to get us over the line into the Premier League. Then build again. Build your youth side. Build whatever you need to do, Rafa. But we've got to get promoted. You know, I don't think any Newcastle fan could could stomach another season in the Championship. We don't belong there. Um, it's not big-headed, you know, or anything like that. I think a, a lot of fans across the country would agree with this. You know, Newcastle belong in the Premier League. They've got a lot of uh, rivals in the Premier League, a lot of good banter with a lot of fans in the Premier League, and I think that's where we need to be. But certainly the number 10 role... I'd love to know who you guys think we should go after, you know, in that kind of number 10 role. Any players you can think of that would really, really improve this team and do a job for us, do let me know because I'm intrigued to find out. Um, I haven't really got any uh, thoughts on players' names that bounce right off my head for a number 10 role at Newcastle, but I'd love to hear what, you's, uh, what you guys think. Striker-wise... It seems like Mitrovic isn't the man for, for Rafa. I don't know what's going on there. Um, I was just saying to the guy I sit next to at the match, you know, when we were there on Friday uh, at the Forest game and thinking, you know what, I just don't think things aren't right with Mitro and Rafa. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know um, what might need looking at, but I, I just don't think that things are right. Uh, he left him out of the Blackburn game altogether, out of the squad, and he said that there's not much difference between Murphy and uh, Mitro in training. Well, you know, I don't think any Newcastle fan really, really took that as, as face value, to be honest. Um, I think something's going on there. I think Mitrovic could be moved on. I know he said earlier in the season that he'd love to finish his career at Newcastle. He's, 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 he's a black and white fan. He's, he loves the club, but... If you're not getting first team football, and certainly at Meat Rose age, he, he needs to be playing first team football. And if he does move on, then uh, who would blame him? Uh, Dwight Gale's there at the minute, and he's he's hammering them in. Um, you know, so do do we need anybody else? Do we call Adam Armstrong back from loan? Do we give him an opportunity? Uh, you know, us Newcastle fans have been crying out for Adam Armstrong to have a chance for for years. This may well be his opportunity to come back from Barnsley. You know, get recalled. And, and start firing for Newcastle. For me, I think he could do a job and save us a little bit of money for next season building the team. I think he would be a perfect understudy for Dwight Gale. Um, I know there's been talks about Callum Wilson coming in from, from Bournemouth. Uh, I wouldn't mind that either. Building the squad, you know, be, let's get players in, in each position so that if we do suffer injuries or fatigue or whatever it may be moving in the back half of the season, we've always got the players there to, to replace them. Now, Sammy Amiobi is also being called back from, from Bolton. For me, I can't see it. I just can't see it. That that bloke was so frustrating when he pulled on a Newcastle team uh, shirt. One minute he was genius, next minute he's just hopeless. And I just, he, not for me, not for me. I mean, Rafa says he wants to have a look at him. That's fine. And if Rafa thinks he can do something with him, again, you know, go for it, Rafa, but best of luck with that. Uh, Jamie Sterry, uh, young defender, right back, also been called, uh, recalled from his loan spell. So Rafa's bringing these players back that he wants to have a look at. Uh, but for me, the, the main one on loan that I would have back straight away is Adam Armstrong. Uh, so let me know if you agree with that as well. So that's just been my thoughts on where I think we need strengthening in the transfer window. Um, I'll be doing a Birmingham uh, preview uh, in the next... Uh, what 24 hours 48 hours certainly be out by friday um on my thoughts on what sort of team he's going to put out and how far we can go in the fa cup this year but if you've liked the video do us a big favor hit the like button it means a lot to me if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button if you're one of my old subscribers from my old channel hit subscribe again uh let's build this channel and make it as good as it used to be and also you can follow me on twitter at the tune review instagram just search the tune review and also the facebook page is doing really well at the moment uh just look for the tune review on facebook uh facebook.com forward slash the tune review and it'll take you straight to that page thank you very very much for watching really appreciate it and i'll catch you on the next one take care